Hey guys, this is Arun from Tech Configurations and welcome to the Daily Tech News. So guys, as you guys know, just a few days ago we reported about the full specification of the Galaxy S21 Ultra and now today, the same source has come up with the full specification of the more affordable Galaxy S21 and the S21 Plus variants. According to the source of future, the Galaxy S21 would feature a 6.2-inch AMOLED display protected by Corning or Leglas Victus that supports a Full HD Plus resolution and a peak brightness of 1300 nits. The display would support a maximum of 120Hz refresh rate, but it won't be dynamically adaptive, which means that it won't change according to the content. Instead, if 120Hz is chosen, everything will be displayed at that refresh rate at all times. The Galaxy S21 would be powered by Snapdragon 888 or Exynos 2100 depending on the market, while it will be coupled with 8GB of RAM. It is said that in Europe, there will be option of 128 or 256GB, but in US, Samsung is expected to offer 256GB as standard. Neither variants would support microSD card expansion. Now coming to the main camera, early leaks has shown that Samsung is reusing the S20's main camera and ultra-wide camera, throwing in some software improvements. Which means that the Galaxy S21 would feature a triple camera module with 12 megapixel main camera, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 64 megapixel telephoto camera capable of 3x hybrid zoom, although there would be a slight increase in the sensor size. Now, moving on to the battery department, the Galaxy S21 would feature a 4000mAh battery with support for wireless charging and 25W wired charging. It is said that Samsung won't be including a power brick in the box of European customers despite mocking Apple. Now moving on to the Galaxy S21 Plus variant, it would feature a 6.7 inch AMOLED display covered with Corning or Leglas Victus that supports a Full HD Plus resolution and a peak brightness of 1300 nits. It would also support a maximum refresh rate of 120Hz, but it won't be adaptive based on the content, so if you choose 120Hz, everything will be displayed at that refresh rate at all times. The Galaxy S21 would be powered by a Snapdragon 888 or Exynos 2100 chipset depending on the market, while there were rumors about 12GB of RAM as standard, but it turns out that Samsung has only provided 8GB of RAM on this model too. The Galaxy S21 Plus would be available in 128 and 256GB internal storage variants. Talking about the camera department, the Galaxy S21 would feature a 10 megapixel front camera whereas the rear camera would be a triple camera module with 12 megapixel main camera, 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 64 megapixel telephoto camera capable of 3x hybrid zoom. Samsung is said to be introducing an updated moon mode and an improved night mode with extra manual controls for both Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus. The Galaxy S21 Plus would feature a noticeably bigger 4800mAh battery with support for wireless charging and 25W wired charging. The Galaxy S21 and the S21 Plus would run on Android 11 with One UI 3.1 on the top, whereas both variants would be IP68 water and dust resistant. So guys, uh, that's pretty much that we have here for now. Let us know your thoughts on this. And hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, hit the like button, share with your friends and stay subscribed for more.